uh, I will just recognize you. I'll point at you, and then you shoot. Eh? You can, you can. Uh, but obviously, just uh, state wh where your, your question is directed to. Uh, Mark, listen. Can I ask two questions if you don't mind? I want to ask. Elisa can can we give him the microphone still? Yeah. Elisa, um, you haven't played since February, so how much, how frustrating has it been for you with the injuries and then coming back and then obviously what happened against Kaiser Chiefs and the tournament also? Um, not played much football today. Was you know were you given that the team hadn't scored in the last scored one goal in the last four games? Was there sort of a bit of a burden on you? Did he kind of took a bit of a gamble on you? A bit of a burden on you to deliver today? Yeah, only Okay, yeah. Um, it's been, uh, it's Please just try move, move closer to the mic, thanks. I think it's been a difficult time for me, uh, but um, I want to say thank you to the coaching staff and the physios and everyone who helped me through everything. And I'm happy to be back and contribute to the team winning. That's all. Yeah, obviously, uh, in the past few games, you haven't scored, but that wasn't my concern, really. I mean, <coughs> with the way we prepared this week, it was important that we've stuck to the plan and that we executed to the best of our ability and then from that chance will be created and which was evident today and I think we weren't composed enough in those moments we had the chances to convert them but I think uh, the most important thing as attacking plays is that there's chances created if it's a game where the chances are not created and we don't get the, the shot on, on target or shot off to, to finish the action then it would be a concern but other than that we've been creating chances in previous games question uh, we try by all means uh, to play a certain way and the way the, the, the coach expects us to play or asks us to play and and as we all know it's, it's you could say it's it's a, it's a risky way of doing it but I think it works for us and you have to believe in your ability you have to believe in in what we were what you're trying to accomplish and yeah sometimes it's not easy but as football players I think uh, it helps us build character and yeah yeah and your your, your first one <laughs> coming to the, the, the game and it wasn't an easy game uh, as we all know and as we all saw uh, I think uh, we are on the we are on the back foot coming into this game uh, based on the previous results and yeah man I think it worked for us to, uh, today coming to penalties and, and saving three of them um, Kermit perhaps no one is better equipped to answer this question you've been in both camps you know and how much would you say now the gap is, is closed between uh, obviously the club you represent now and uh, I'm going to announced and then to see, well, how much did that first save in the first five minutes against the Temba sort of like boost your confidence to also go on uh, to here during the final? Well, I think uh, we're not far from where we want to be as a team. <coughs> we don't like to compare ourselves to other teams, but we all know Orlando Pirates is a big team. And I'm sure a lot of you guys wrote us off before the game, but we're sitting here today as champions. So it just shows you that for the desire and the hunger that we're trying to show and achieve in the games. You've got you to give everything in every game you, you, you play. The last game results won't guarantee you a win in the next game. So every game is a new opportunity to prove yourself. And that's what we're trying to do as a team. Be consistent and just prove ourselves every game. Yeah, uh, I think the same in the first half as, as you asked. Uh, it's a really, was a really uh, confidence booster. Uh, for every goalkeeper, it's very important uh, to keep uh, to keep a team in the game when 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 it was really tough. Uh, as as uh, it was a really balanced game, and what one, one goal could win it, and I'm I'm glad it could uh, could save the team, and and it's, it's spurred me on to 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 
to, to give me more confidence uh, even in the penalty shootout. <coughs> Sorry? How do you ever get a chance to save those penalties tonight? Yeah, I think uh, I'm part of uh, uh, of the youth brand, London Pirates, and uh, I'm glad that I could help the team today, uh, uh, irrespective of what, if, what, have, what happened in the past. And for me, it's just to contribute uh, whenever I'm called for uh, each and every game and each and every opportunity that I get. My question is based on the. Uh, my question to go to uh, After I saw to Navi, they were not there just to say about you, especially the fans, the local supporters. And you managed to come back uh, stronger tonight. Uh, what has kept you strong to make sure that you bounce back strong? And in terms of uh, CBC, as players, are we any competitive sport where there's a lot that, has been, that, that can be said and mentally it can distract you? And now that uh, today you didn't finish the final, and last season you didn't finish the final at his home time. How do you how do you support him as players uh, to make sure that maybe that may have a negative thought that if the final I want to finish this season, even though you won it. Okay, concerning what you said on um, first, um, I don't think um, the W really, it affected me for a couple of days, you know, and um, I wasn't really bothered about like what was going on outside around. So I was more bothered about my teammates and everything and working to come back stronger. And yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, team, it's a healthy competition. I don't think um, we pray for anything bad to happen to one another. And um, going, when he was leaving, I told him that we are winning this for you. You know, like it's a second time in a row, it's happening. So yeah, we had to fight. And we're also fighting for the fans and fighting for him also. So, yeah. Second row. <coughs> Congratulations, boss. Um, mine goes to Sipo. Your coach just said it was difficult to get material among the Sundowns penalties. It was difficult? So, okay. um, did you do your own homework or you were just lucky to get certain penalties? <laughs> I think. With a brand like, no, no, you can answer. You can answer. The brand like Orlando Pirates. I think going into every game, you have to be, you have to do your homework. You have to do your research on every aspect that you can come across in a game. So, yeah, I'm glad that we did enough of our homework and it worked out well for us. Lisa, there's a lot of things that are said about you in terms of future as well. Orlando Pirates. Obviously, with the with the wind on, on on the game today, um, it wasn't easy. But I think uh, we used it to our advantage in the first half, and you know we had to we had to press high because we knew that any long ball the ball would come back because of the wind. But yeah, it's obviously a challenge, and we try to figure out ways to come out of of of, of pressing situations. But overall, it was a great performance from the team. I think we deserve to win today. We deserve to be champions. We showed it in every aspect of the game, in the way we started the game, till the way we ended the game. So, I think for overall, it's been a good evening. Kevin, um, I'm not mistaken, it's your third continent final with trophy. In a row. In a row, yeah. What does it One, mean? three in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, sorry. Okay. So sorry. Saying, uh, what, does it, what does it mean to you and also to you, Sipo Chain? Do you think you were lucky with the red card uh, after we had um, 
my boy, I mean, I think, yeah. Do you think we're lucky that you didn't get a red card? And also, just for you to save these penalties, do you think you have shut the door off to, for the courts uh, to have that lack of confidence you know, based on what happened in the capital place? Yeah, obviously, uh, three finals. Yeah, finals not guaranteed if you win. But giving your best is guaranteed. And for me, that's what I try to do leading up to games, finals, any any official game we're playing, we're preparing for. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I could be part of a, a winning team again. And just giving other players that has never won anything to, to know what it feels like to, to win things. And hopefully it can motivate them to continue working hard and, and wanting to be part of this team to try and win things as we've done tonight. Uh, yeah, coming to your question, oh, was I lucky? Uh, I think we should also give credit to, I know they, had, they go through a lot as referees and when they have a good game like they had today, we should also give them credit. Uh, I think it was a good call from him, uh, <laughs> even before I went in for, 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 for the 50-50 ball or the challenge, uh, I had a foul on me and which he, could, which he, could, which he picked up and that was a very, very, very... Uh, uh, how can I say, uh, great call from him uh, and it wasn't easy to see that if, if, if he wasn't paying attention. So we got to also give him credit for, for, for such games as today. And what was the other? The one saving these penalties, looking at the Champions League that we before we came Yeah, like I said earlier, uh, I'm, I'm here to, to, to work for London Pirates. Uh, Every time, every chance that I get to be to represent the club in any way, shape or form, whether it be penalties or whatever, uh, for me, uh, it, it was a really confidence booster today. Yeah. 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 I don't know. <laughs> As a football player, when you get an offer from a club like London Pirates, it's it's not easy to reject, and uh, it's it's every player's aspiration to play for for the biggest club in Africa. And uh, uh, yeah, coming to to Pirates, uh, obviously you, you think as a football player it's not going to be easy. Uh, you take it a day at a time, a training session at a time. You try to get better. Uh, you improve yourself in every in every shape uh, in every form that you can that you can imagine and be training hard watching yourself you know in every aspect to to get better as a football player and i think it has really helped me a lot uh, coming to pirates <coughs> Closer, closer to the to, to the market. Closer, closer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, it's easy now. Speaking in hindsight, uh, it's a positive penalty. So maybe it was the difference from the night. But mm-hmm. in the overall, what do you think was the difference between you guys and Sunday? I think I think the hunger to want it more. I think you see if you watch how we started the game. <coughs> I think if you have to look at the, the stats in terms of the position, yes, they've got the, a few better chances than ours. But in terms of how we pressed today, we stuck to the plan. We gave everything without the ball, especially. And we harassed when we needed to. And we covered for one another when we needed to. I think uh, the selflessness from one another as a team to work tirelessly, covering one another, pressing with one another, worked to our advantage today. And it showed today in the game. Yes, we weren't uh, that uh, fluid in our in our past passage of play, but at moments we had good uh, we had good uh, attacking ways, especially on the opposite side of of, of, of the team. And I think uh, with just a little bit of composure, we could have created better chances. But finals are always a different ball game. And like I said, it's who wants it more on the night. And I think we showed that tonight. Um, Kenneth, 
Could you please give us an insight uh, into this coach, uh, Jose Guerrero? Um, what kind of a coach he is? Because to us, he's very, not very clear with everything. Could you give us more on, about him and also try to change? Um, the last goal given Paris that uh, saved two penalties in that game was said, and that changes his way of, of playing. He became a big star. I would like to, to see that with you. Well, what I can say about the coach is that he's got a lot of patience. He's very motivated. He's passionate about this club, this game. And I think uh, in the ways that he's trying to coach us, suits us as, as South African players. And he's always uh, open to to opinions of, of what we think as, as players. And he also tries to understand different players and how they behave in certain situations or what what drives them or what lets their head down if he's, 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 he's shouting too much. or He's trying to figure out how to treat every player in, in the way that's comfortable for them as, as individuals. So I think uh, because of that, uh, the unity of the team has been really good and I think he's been, he's been great for us as, as a coach always speaking to us, speaking to players, especially the ones that are not playing as regularly as they, as they would like to, because he knows how important making sure that uh, the unity of the team, the, the harmony of the team is, is intact, and I think he's been great for us. And that's, uh, that's what I can say about it. Chain, last one. <laughs> no, but he, there's already a question for him. Chain? Yeah. <laughs> we can take ten more. Chain? <laughs> Yeah. Chief, go, go ahead. Bro. It was the reference to Senzo. Remember? Bro. Since you say. I really don't know how to, okay. to answer this question. Okay. <laughs> Comparison can be. Anyone can, can compare. And for me, I just focus on trying to be myself and and work as hard as I can to, to improve and get better, yeah. Thank you. Let's end this now. Thank you.